everyone, this is General Archibald here with a video tutorial. And today we are going to be learning how to insert weapon icons with GBAGE. And uh, this tutorial is dedicated to Mage Knight 404, the only man in the world who I think still uses Tile Layer Pro for this shit. So, um, we're going to teach, or I'm going to teach, how to use GBA Graphics Editor for this shit. Because I used Tile Layer Pro for the longest time. And it's just such a hassle, because every time you insert an icon, you have to basically redo it. Um, because Tile Layer Pro messes up the colors, and it's a pain in the ass. And nobody should ever use Tile Layer Pro, so that's why I'm going to teach how to use GBA Graphics Editor right now. So the first step is, obviously, to open up GBA Graphics Editor, and to open up your ROM. And then we're going to go to Image Control. We need these two windows open, image control and palette control. And we have this nice little distorted version of Lynn's tent. But we need to find the weapon icons. So it, obviously, if I need to go somewhere to get hacking information, I'm going to go to Fire Emblem Cafe, which is hosting Shadow of Chaos's uh, nice basic weapon icon editing and insertion tutorial. So... From here, we're going to get the FE7 offsets, and uh, if you're hacking with FE8 or FE6, the offsets are in here too. So let's go, uh, the image control is C5EA4, this is where the graphics are stored. And then we're going to need the palette, which is at CBEA4, and voila, we have weapon icons. And so now we need to save this as a PNG. So I'm going to call it Weapon Icons. I'm going to replace that old one from the uh, second take of this. And so here we have Weapon Icons. And so now we're going to insert one. And so to get a Weapon Icon, I'm going to open up my Libya Knights uh, Materials folder. And I have uh, Lord Glenn's FE5 Icon Collection. So we're going to replace the uh, plain old FE7 Iron Sword with his Iron Sword. But uh, first things first, so you'll notice I'm using Usenti. That is the program you're going to want to use because if you do it in Paint, uh, Paint's going to lose track of the order that the uh, color palette is stored in. And so you don't want to do that because when you insert it, it's going to be icky. And uh, your colors aren't going to be red right, and the ROM's not going to know what to do. I've had it crash before by editing in paint. I've had the colors distorted. So you need to use a program that stores the uh, image palette in the proper order. Usenti is the nicest one I've had that does that. Um, I think GIMP does it too, but I don't really like GIMP all that much. It's really, a uh, really extensive program. So, first things first, I need to change the background color so the uh, palettes match. And my dog needs to shut the fuck up! And uh, then I'm going to need to copy-paste this icon. This is the iron sword we're going to be using. And then I'm going to put this in here. And when editing icons, when inserting them, you'll notice that they are split in half. And the two parts are next to each other in this little tile grid. The uh, tile grid I turned on is incredibly helpful to have, just to see how you're editing. Uh, 16 by 8 tile grid makes this a lot easier. And so we have our iron sword, so let's put it up over the other iron sword. And there we have that, and we'll close this, we'll close that, and okay. So let's open up our ROM and see this Bland old iron sword, been in all the GBA FE games, and that will be a thing of the past in just a moment. So we're going to import a bitmap. Don't want to abort. Don't want to import a palette. So you're going to uncheck those boxes and then get your image file and click OK. And then this screen is going to come up telling you that it inserted. And right here, you see that change? That is our new iron sword icon. So here is the old one, reboot, and here is the new one, 
Voila! Brand new Iron Sword icon, courtesy of Lord Glenn. Inserted by GBAGE. It took me all of about a minute. So, there we have it. That's how you insert icons with GBA Graphics Editor. Just make sure that you're using a proper image editing program. Copy the uh, icon and and copy it to the uh, icons file with the same program and you will be perfectly fine. Okay? So thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me for five and a half minutes as I explain this incredibly easy task. And happy hacking to you all.